This versus Snow White and the Huntsman. Hey everyone, I am Vince of Geekvolution and welcome to Vince versus. That's right, Vince versus the thing of the day, which is a new movie. Well, new-ish. Anyway, uh, I just saw this movie with my girlfriend. Uh, for those of you who did not read the the title of the video, it is Snow White and the Huntsman. Uh, this should ideally be pretty quick. I'll tell you what this movie apparently set out to do, either that or it just had third act syndrome, what this movie ultimately tried to do was create a strong female protagonist. Okay, I'm all for that. I like the idea of having a strong female protagonist. I want to go to a movie and watch the movie that has that woman who through her, uh, her, hmm, who through her trials and tribulations within the movie learns to stand up for herself. Uh, I gotta tell you, this is not that movie. They think they did that, but they really didn't. See, ultimately, what this movie is about is people walking around and being sad and trying to console each other because they're sad. So, uh, Snow White, uh, the Seven Dwarves do play into this. Uh, they're kind of treated like mystic thieves which is really strange. I'll get there. But, uh, so Snow White is her family, her father, her mother dies, of course, you know, there is still a lot of the traditional uh, elements of the Snow White story in this movie. So uh, Snow White's mother dies, and uh, then the queen, the, uh, the, the evil queen, the lady who eventually becomes a queen, played by Charlize Theron, she comes in and she takes over the kingdom. She tricks the king into marrying her, and uh, he, she, she is saved. But this is the interesting part about the queen, I guess. Uh, you're supposed to be the interesting part. Uh, there is this, this evil force, this unknown army that's attacking the kingdom, and the king goes and defeats the army and saves the supposed captive, uh, the the eventual evil queen, and uh, so. <laughs> So he takes her back, she marries her on her wedding day, she kills the king, and uh, uh, that's where basically where the big movie starts. So she kills the king, she takes over the kingdom, and she imprisons Snow White. There's a lot of your uh, traditional uh, Snow White storylines, but it's not just an imprisonment, it's not, it's not like she sticks, well, it, I mean, it's literally an imprisonment. It's not like she just tosses her in a room and says, stay there and don't come out if, you're, if you do, you're a naughty girl. No, <laughs> she says, you're a prisoner. And you're gonna stay here. Now, first of all, she has the, the the chutzpah to kill the king, but not his daughter. Uh, obviously, she doesn't care about the opinions of the townspeople. Uh, so, and a lot of the time in those traditional Snow White stories, the Snow White is kept alive because, well, the village people love her, and she's and the, the queen doesn't want to get rid of this person. Otherwise, you know, she does a lot of these things in secret. But in this movie the queen just boldly kills the king right there at, that's that's the uh, big plot point in the movie so and you knew it was coming so you can't call cry it spoiler warning because you know it's coming it's snow white but uh, so the king is is dead but uh, she takes over the kingdom and makes the townspeople suffer uh, she did this and there's no reason to keep snow white alive None. Not unless you just want to torture her. And throughout this entire movie, they keep going back to it like, oh, we should have killed her when we had the chance. Yes, you should have. What were you thinking? If you would have just killed Snow White, you wouldn't have to have run around trying to find her. Now, that bothers me too. Why is Snow White so... Uh, important to them. Well, they do establish something. Uh, they're the magics, and I suppose this could be a little bit of a spoiler warning, but there's some there's something that the queen magic or her magical abilities needs Snow White for. So there's the reason to go after Snow White. So you're, you're upping the ante a little bit, and uh, the movie should be getting more exciting, but it really doesn't, because there's uh, Snow White is not an interesting person in this. She is just a teenager. Just a teenager. There's nothing about her that's special, uh, really at all. And uh, eventually, 
they send the Huntsman out to find her, the Huntsman played by Chris Hemsworth. And uh, so the Huntsman goes to find her, and there's your movie. And uh, eventually, you know, when I went to see this movie, I thought the Huntsman would be hired by the Queen. That's really strange. Well, cause, because the trailers show the Huntsman being uh, uh, on the side of Snow White. Okay, I get it. Uh, but uh, eventually he flips sides. So, so, I gotta tell you guys, I'm sorry, I just didn't like this movie. You know why? Because it was dull. The characters were not fleshed out people. Uh, the only person who was interesting at all was, well, I take that back, there was two people who could have been interesting. Uh, the Evil Queen could have been interesting. They tried to establish a little bit of a motive, but they didn't really do much. They, they had one flashback scene which didn't have much bearing on the rest of the movie, and uh, they were just trying to establish a reason for her powers. Uh, give us more. I wish they would have made a movie about the Evil Queen prior to the whole Snow White thing. Uh, maybe they will, I don't know, but I think it could it would have made this movie better. It's an extremely slow moving movie. It's, I don't know, two hours or so. It felt like it was a million hours. I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't believe it was so long. Uh, there were times, I'll admit, I nodded off a little in the movie theater. I went, and then I woke up and the exact same thing was happening. So, it's a really slowly paced movie. Kristen Stewart does not act well in this movie. First of all, there's one thing where they keep saying that she's the most beautiful woman ever. She's so beautiful. Really? <laughs> she's, is she really that pretty? No, no, she's cute. I get it. No, Kristen Stewart's cute, sure. But uh, uh, if you were to see Kristen Stewart walking down the street, you wouldn't be like, oh, she would be Snow White. No, you'd be like, oh, yeah, she's all right. <laughs> it's... it's you know, I wanted this review to be a little more professional. I wanted this review to be less me sitting around going, man, that was awful, and more hopefully me just picking things out of this movie and saying, well, you know, maybe there was this about it, that one about it, that was good, but uh, there were some good ideas. Uh, I don't want to ruin the only good things about the movie for those of you who are going to see it. Uh, there, was, there was some good ideas, but the overall plot made no sense. Uh, Snow White was trying to get to the, uh, to the army, the king's army, who was apparently, after all these years, since she was a little girl up to the time that whatever, however she old, how old she is now, uh, she's trying to get to this army because she knows if she can get there, then there will be a revolution. What about her showing up starts the revolution? There is nothing that she could give them that would make everything better. Uh, why is Snow White that important? I understand she's the daughter of the king, therefore this whole God Save the Queen idea where she can rally the troops. No! I just don't buy it. How is that even possible? She's trying to get there. What else could she do? Uh, okay. The third act just completely goes way off the chart and makes no sense at all. I'll let you watch it. I don't want to ruin the third act, the, the most nonsensical part of the movie. But, I hope you enjoyed Vince vs. Snow White and the Huntsman. And, you can send us things in our P.O. Box. P.O. Box 14183, Geekvolution, P.O. Box 14183, at Lenexa, Kansas, 66285. So, uh, thanks for watching, Vince vs. And, tune in next time when I find something else.